So now Ronda's coach, Edmund, comes out and starts giving interviews. To ESPN, he said, I wouldn't say in the striking game she was getting the best of Ronda, you know. They're talking about Holly Holm. What is he talking about? This guy is an idiot, he, he goes on to say. <laughs> but I have to watch it again. But we know this was not a striking match. We know that Ronda is smart enough to take the fight where she is best at. And today she did. Holly stopped an attempt at an armbar and stopped some of the takedowns. She did a good job. What is he talking? This guy's an idiot. Edmund, the same guy who in between rounds said that Ronda was doing a good job and was giving her uh, striking advice. This guy is literally seeing Ronda in tunnel vision. He's not seeing the whole picture. He is an idiot. How can you not see? He He's either an idiot or an idiot. An idiot for giving that quote or an idiot in real life. And he's an idiot in real life. Ronda is going to go film some movies, get some rest. Maybe this guy's out. You know, him and her mom do not like each other. <laughs> her mom has some beef with him. And this guy, for him to say that she was doing good... And that she said, I wouldn't say in the striking game she was getting the best of Rana. What an idiot. So, <laughs> very dumb. So, you guys remember Bech Kohea? Yeah, she actually said that people made her believe she's an excellent striker. Her coach made her believe that. And the fact that she beat me standing gave her more confidence. She is right on that. She did her entire camp focusing on her striking. She forgot her judo. It doesn't matter if you're born on a judo mat. If you only train boxing, you're going to box. It's automatic. You do what you train. She's making a lot of sense. But then she goes on to say, I was cheering for Holly. Ronda never had anything special in my opinion. What is she talking about? This is where she starts, you know, <laughs> digging. She started digging. She had marriage, but she won her fights because her opponents made mistakes. When facing her, that's right. And she knew how to make everyone pay for their mistakes. Yeah, I knew Holly had what it takes to win, but I had no idea she would be mentally prepared to do that. She had focus, a good head, and that made the difference. She's right on that, except for the first part that she said. And then she goes on to say that she wants a rematch, blah, 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 blah. And that opens the division. For the, fo for the UFC to focus on the rest of the women as opposed to just Ronda. And she's right about that. And this right here is Joe Rogan's reaction to the KO. Is it the biggest upset in UFC history? I don't know. But this is the thing. Every single event, when something stupid, something crazy, something incredible happens, Joe Rogan, of course, as you know, goes off the handle. Oh, this is the best heavyweight battle we've ever seen. This is the best comeback we've ever seen. Ever seen. Ever seen. Every every single event, something crazy happens. Oh, that's the best comeback. That's the best submission. That's the best knockout. That's the best this, 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 this. Here we go. It's Joe Rogan over fucking hyping everything. Here we go again. When's the last time Joe Hogan actually paid money to see a UFC event? You remember when he was saying, if you're in the mat... And you can't get up. Tough shit. You shouldn't have to depend on the referee. Joe Dumbass Rogan, when's the last time you paid money to see a UFC event? People don't pay money to see somebody that's stealing rounds, that's a round winner and not a true fighter. He doesn't know shit about marketing. He doesn't know shit about that. But he's learning. He's learning that, hey, you dumb shit, just because you're the second best fighter in the world does not mean you're going to fight the number one fighter in the world. It's all about marketing. UFC is a business. Joe Dumbass Hogan is now realizing that especially with the Misha Tate situation. But anyway, and even John Jones jumped in on the quote bandwagon. He said, I know the MMA community doesn't really know Holly yet, so let me be the first to tell you she is the most classy and down-to-earth athlete I've ever had the pleasure to be around. She is the longtime pride of Albuquerque, New Mexico, not only because of the way she competes, but the way she treats each and every individual that has the opportunity of meeting her. Which is the complete, <laughs> which is the complete opposite of fucking John Jones. Everybody, thank you for watching, and I will see all of you later.